Greetings people, this is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. Alright, I'm here at my infusion altar because we're going to be doing some infusion, infusing, some more infusing. I'm doing a lot of Thumbcraft stuff. Okay, first I need to say, it has been like a, probably a week since I uploaded a video. So I've had a big break here in, uh, in my series because I had some personal things going on. And I had a hard time. Uh, I had a hard time finding the time and the energy to to record um, and do videos. But today is the day off from work, and so I'm going to. Uh, so far, so far, I have not had anything come up. You know that I had to go do something else instead. So I'm I'm going to um, record a couple of episodes today. I'm hoping to do at least four and uh, prepare them and so I will have episodes ready for a week, right? If I do one every, if I upload or I'm, you know, have one published every other day. Um, so I'll try, try to get back on track. Okay, so the next thing. Okay, so I'll, this, this episode I want to craft uh, Boots of the Meteor, right? So in the last episode, I think in the last episode, what I did was I made the, I made the, um, uh, the fortress armor, right? Or maybe I think I worked on uh, maybe I worked on on um, enchanting the fortress armor. Is that what I did? I forget exactly. Um, so like I'm I'm preparing gear, right, to go to this special dungeon, uh, Thomcraft dungeon, that you access through a special portal you make by 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 uh, right click. I think right clicking. Uh, you know, setting four of these eldritch eldritch eyes into a special um, little ritual setup that's over there um, anyway so but I'm preparing right what I'm doing in this episode previous episodes the next couple episodes this is gonna take a little while is I'm preparing more powerful gear before I go into this dungeon um, okay so before but before okay one more thing before we get to actually making this uh, the boots of the Traveler, and then that. Well, I want to make boots of the Comet, but you have to make boots of the Traveler first because boots of the Traveler are one of the ingredients for boots of the Comet. Anyway, I want to show something that happened while I was working on stuff in between episodes. I, I set this up a while back. I set up this spa, which is to help to counteract to counteract negative warp effects. You know, which I'm getting because I'm going insane from all the dark and mysterious and slightly or maybe not quite so slightly slightly evil. Uh, research and knowledge I'm gaining in Thalmcraft. Ooh, you know, like this Eldritch stuff. Um, anyway, so uh, so when you're getting a warp effect, you get into this purifying fluid and stuff. So anyway, so I set that up and I didn't use it. Well, I got a warp effect uh, while while I was doing stuff in between episodes. So I uh, tried this out and I recorded that. So here we go. We're going to do a flashback. I'm going to do a flashback and I will show how that all went. So here we go, flashing back. Hello, this is Keith Modesto. I'm doing a flashback, or it will be a flashback eventually. Right now, as I'm recording it, it's not, of course. Anyway, so um, uh, this is uh, this is the time in between episodes. I, in the last episode, I said in between episodes, I'd be working on, on um, enchanting the armor that I made, the fortress, the Thalmium fortress armor, right? So... When you're enchanting, when you're doing enchantments, you need experience, right? Even if you're doing it, um, even if you're doing the enchantments through some kind of mod, some mods version of doing enchantments, I, I think all the ones that I that I have, I know of offhand, they all still require some degree of, of uh, experience. Maybe not as much as if you're doing it with a vanilla mechanic, but you still need experience, right? So I ran out and went to the Nether to get more experience by killing things and mining. Uh, um, nether quartz, which gives you uh, experience too, which is cool. Anyway, I got a warp effect. Uh, and here it is. I still have uh, two and a half minutes left to go. Deadly Gaze. I don't know what Deadly Gaze does, but uh, you can see it has narrowed my range of vision a little bit. It's, you know, we got this dark stuff around the sides. But anyway, so I have a warp effect applied, which means it's time to try out this, the uh, purifying liquid. Or no, purifying fluid. Okay, so let's jump in and see what happens. Oh, actually, and I want to grab the soap. I want to grab the soap and try it out too. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, I used it up, and I'm getting warp ward to, uh, I guess it must be not quite 27 minutes worth. Uh, okay, so let's try this. Oh, and I have my sanity check. My sanity check must be down here. Okay. So, the warp ward. You know, I mean, this is supposed to be a spa, but I guess, you know, uh, you use up the water, the, flu the fuel fluid, and no you're no longer in a spa, which is not quite right. <laughs> Maybe it should just turn to water so that you can still be pretend like you're in a hot tub. I don't know. Anyway, so here's my warp, and let's... Stuff is happening. I can feel stuff happening. Oh, and I used it up. And I can't tell if it went down. It doesn't look to me like it went down. Who knows? Well, I guess there's just a chance. All right, well, I did it. Okay, now start. Well, um, I still have, I, actually, I still have the Dead of the Gaze going on. And I, I, actually, it's going to go off in a, le a little less than a minute. But I have the Warp Ward effect going on, too. Maybe you should look, I don't know what this, this effect is supposed to do. Dead of the Gaze. Maybe it sets things on fire? I don't know. Ah, nothing set on fire. Deadly gaze. I always think deadly, deadly gaze. If it's a if it's a bad thing, then it should set me on fire or do something bad to me. Is something looking at me? I don't know. Your vision becomes strange and grim. Your vision becomes strange and grim. I just oh, there's my okay. That timer was actually for something else. <clears throat> I'm doing a chore <clears throat> that uh, I needed to uh, know when it was done, so I had a, the timer off. But anyway, that's good. Okay, so so I just wanted to show here. Me, uh, for the first time, actually using that purifying fluid to counteract a, uh, a, um, an effect from warp. Okay, so uh, now we'll back, go back to our regular scheduled program in progress. All right, I'm back. So uh, that was cool, I guess. So, uh, so anytime I have a warp effect, I'll try that again. Let's see, I'll, I guess I'll get this ready by putting some more of the, of the bath salts in here. This actually should not do anything until I push the button, right? I guess we'll try it out. Let's see if, if this fills up. So the way this is working is this thing does not, uh, this uh, arcane spa, I think it's called, does not output anything. It's good. When, it's gonna, when it works, it's going to output the purifying fluid. It'll, it'll mix the purifying bath salts into the water here that you can see in this gauge and it'll fill this up with purifying fluid, but it doesn't do it right. It's not doing it right now because it doesn't activate if there, if it's disabled. This block is disabled if there's a redstone signal being applied, and there is being a redstone signal being applied by this button. There's some, there's some uh, redstone conduit um, going from the button to uh, the spa. Anyway, so this, is an, this, is button, this button is inverted, so it applies a redstone signal unless it's being pushed. So, so the question is, Will the pulse of non-redstone signal, so to speak, be long enough to disable the, or to enable this spa to output the, the purifying fluid? So let's find out. The answer is no. The pulse. Oh, there it worked the second time. Okay, so so it's unreliable. <laughs> I might uh I might make a repeater and and. Uh, or uh, what's it called? Is it called a repeater? There's a there's a there's a, a little device. It's actually vanilla that will make a pulse. I think it's vanilla. Well, I'll I'll look into that. I'm not going to do that right right now though, because we'll run out of time. I'll work on that. Um, I'll making that more more reliable. Okay. So first thing we got to do is make the. Um, I guess I really ought to put these down here. Um, I probably don't need to have that there. Okay. So. These are the things we need to make the boots of the traveler. So we put the boot, we put these. These are just regular old leather boots, doing it leather armor boots. So, um, so is it here? Yes. Okay. Actually, I can do it on this tab. Okay. Boots of the traveler, boots of the com uh, meteor, boots of the meteor. Okay. So that's what I want to make, not boots of the comet, boots of the meteor. I think I might have said comet before. Anyway, so excuse me. We put leather boots in there. And I guess this is balanced because there's six. Right. So I'm going to put a fish and a feather down. And I've got extras, of course. Oh, where's my fish? Did I not pick up the fish? I thought I had fish. Where did the fish go? I've got... That's odd. That is odd. That is odd. I will get more fish. 
I put I put all the stuff I needed in that in that chest. I thought I did. I only have one fish here. I only need one fish, but I need it would be nice to have an extra fish because you never know. So it can be any kind of fish, which I guess is good. Let's try that again. I know I had I know I got some fish and I don't know why they Oh, you know oh I know why that happened. It's because of this thing. Oh you I guess I will put this away temporarily. Let's see. Let's put it. I'll put it in the chest. Anytime you put a food item in the hot bar, um, it gets uh, absorbed. Well, unless there's no room in the uh, talisman of nourishment. That is, that is something to keep in mind. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. I thought I had a fish. Okay. Um, so we put. I'll put. I'll put the feather here, and the fish. I'll put in the opposite corner, right? And then we need two air shards. So I'll put the air shards. Oh, I'm getting. A warp effect. I might need to use that purifying fluid again. What am I getting? Mining fatigue? What did that say? You feel suddenly reluctant to break things? Okay. I guess that was a warp effect that just didn't last very long. Okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get the spa. Okay, so let me get the cloth. So is that it? I think that might be it. We just have six things. So cloth uh, so um Two cloth, two shards, fish, and feather. Two cloth, two shards, fish, and feather. That's it. Okay, so I'll make sure I have everything on my hot bar in case I need to replace something that falls. And of course, it takes uh, some uh, it takes some eider, <clears throat> eider, which is travel, and uh, vo vo volatus, which is flight. And I have plenty of those, those downstairs. I checked on that. So we will go ahead. Am I getting? Am I getting? A, oh, it's mining fatigue. I don't care about money for you. Okay, so we'll go ahead. And this is minor, I think, so there shouldn't be any problems. Okay, there goes the shard. Goes another shard. Uh, cloth. Other cloth. Now I don't know a feather or a fish. There goes a feather. Uh oh my my perception expanded. There we go. And I'm I've got night vision. Oh another warp effect, but um, not a bad one. So I'm not gonna get in the spa for that. Okay, we'll put these things away, and I'll grab my boots. All right, so it's almost dark. Let's see how these boots do. I'm gonna take off, first I'm gonna take, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I wanna do the, ah, uh, what, what? I'm gonna take off my sash and take off my boots. Okay, so this is walking normally without anything to help you. And of course I can't go, I cannot just automatically go up, I have to jump. Okay, so this is with the boots. That's a bit faster. It's not a whole lot faster, but it's a bit faster. And, and you automatically step up instead of having to jump, right? Much like the sash. Now, I'm wondering if putting on the sash in addition will make me go even faster. Ah, it does. Okay, now having, just having the sash will, is that a little slower? It is, so I guess, I guess they're cumulative. Okay, there you go. Okay, then that's done. I'm gonna, we're gonna sleep here and then we'll make, we'll, we'll turn these boots into Boots of the Meteor, which I think might be a little faster, maybe, but they will, uh, there's this, it says in the book anyway, let's see what it says here in the book. Boots of the Meteor. The, these boots propel the wearer with the force of the meteor in the direction they are, they are looking. If they, if they jump while crouching. Um, pressing the crouch button when in mid when in mid air will launch the player towards the ground at incredible speeds, damaging anything near the point of impact. So like you're you're up in the air flying or just jumped up in the air, I suppose, and you go wham, and then if there's like mobs nearby, they will go oh, and probably get pushed back or something and take damage. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I am I'm, I'm, I'm definitely walking faster. Okay, so. We gotta take our boots back off. I guess I'll go ahead and put these boots back on. Okay, so the 
boots go in the middle. I believe I will check that in a moment. Okay. Yes, boots travel, and it doesn't matter how much durability they have. Which oh, I need a one of I need a a fire focus, um, which is what this stuff is for. This is to make a fire focus. So let's do that. That is made in the arcane work table. Let's see. Okay, so the shards are in the on the, on the um, shards are on the corners. One, two, three, four. Why do I have an extra one? I don't know. Two. Maybe I need that for the comment. I don't know. Uh, and this goes in the middle. Okay, there's the fire focus. Okay, that is the first. That is one of the ingredients of these boots. Okay, then we need a fire crystal cluster. Hi. And some netherrack. I have two fire crystal clusters because I, oh you know what I should have made I should make I really ought to have two fire focuses I don't know if I want to, to do that though this is moderate so something could go wrong I guess I'll do it I guess I could work on upgrading the fire focus I have a fire focus already in my pouch I could do something more with it I suppose okay so I need another wart another I mean I need another quartz oh, and I have you know what I have why do I have was I gonna make two of them maybe I was gonna make two already I don't know, understand that why do I have so much another quartz um, I'll probably just doubled everything automatically I happen to have another fire charge in here so I need some fire shards I have a fire shard in here for some reason cool Hmm. Puzzling, you know, since I didn't really do anything for a week, I've, I've kind of forgotten everything I've done and why. I don't have so many extra. I don't think I was planning on making two of these. Okay, so there, I guess this will stack. Okay, so we got fire cluster. So we need six. So we need. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me put. I don't need to have these feathers and fabric in here anymore. So this and this and this. Set it. So we'll put that there and we'll put this there. And I guess this is not totally balanced because there's five and that's an odd number. Well, we will balance two of them. One there, and one there, and then we have an extra one. Okay, and we ought to have enough of these stuff downstairs. I think I checked. So 25, 25, 10. yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, so. to fire. Now the potentia. There we go. Eider. Alutus. Now let's just start pulling things in. There goes a uh, fire shard cluster. One netherrack. Another netherrack. Third netherrack. Now it should be the fire uh, focus. There, it did it. And the sound effect took a little while to stop. Okay, so there's Boots of the Meteor. Let's try these out. I know I can I can go ahead and take this back. All right, let's get rid of some of my extra stuff and try these on. Try these on. And this is basically everything I wanted to do in this episode. And I have an extra fire focus. I gotta do something with. Oh, and there's a fish. 
Don't need that fish. Okay. So what I want, what I think I'll do is put on, we'll put this armor on and try the boots out with the full armor. So I gotta go over here and put away my, my Batania armor there. I guess I should make, I might wanna make, um, okay, I'm walking faster. I might wanna turn, put all my armor along this wall. I've got it kind of split up between here and over here. I have, I have an armor stand over here. I put this here. My, I got my Thumbcraft robes here, and I've got an armor stand here for, for this armor, actually, so I can go like that. All right, let's put it back on. Okay, so let's see how this, if I'm up in the air, and supposedly if I hit crouch, um, why am I on fire? I guess that's the boots? Making that symbol? Okay, that uh, particle effect I mean. Okay, so let's go over here and and I will hit the my crouch button, which is the left shift key. Well, that didn't really do anything. Of course I wouldn't know. Ah, okay, so it's just jumping. Flying isn't working, but if I I just hit the spacebar once, right? So I jump. So on the way, I do that, and then I do that, and it, and you get that explosion. Cool. Let's see how that looks. Let me do that again. Cool. Okay, and the other thing is if I'm looking somewhere and I go, where's my book? I have to remember to do this. I have to do this. Okay. By in, okay, these boots propel the wearer with the force of a meteor in the direction they are looking if they jump while crouching. Okay, jump while crouching. So I'm going to look in a good spot. So we'll just look there. Okay, so I crouch, oh no, and then jump. Oh, not as fast as I thought. So it's kind of a jump. Oh, that's pretty good. I've got feather fall, of course, and the wings will prevent me from. Let's see how much damage it does to these sheep and a cow. Sheep and cow. Oh, let's see. Stop moving. I'm trying to do something. Oh, you're. Oh, I have to leave. Okay, we'll do the pig. Uh, I killed that pig by just jumping. Uh, that does seem to do at least. Uh, I don't know how how much hit points do pigs have. Let's see. Hello, cow. How would you like to be? Uh, a, in the, a test subject. Okay, so you have five hearts. Let's see if this does at least five hearts of damage. No, it doesn't. How much damage did it do? He's gonna run away. I guess I turned that off. Oh, come, well, oh, come on. I must have done more damage than that. No. <laughs> uh, okay, let's find that cheap. Well, I don't know why it killed. Maybe, maybe because I, I was right on top of the pig. I might have actually jumped on the pig. That would have, that might explain why it killed it. Okay, so it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but some. That's pretty cool. So this is kind of like a very cheap form of flight, I guess. If you, as long as you're not having to go too far, might be useful in the, in the Nether if you don't have flight. Though you'd have to be careful because there are some pretty wide chasms, you know big distances without anything but lava underneath you. You would not be able to get past anything like that um, with just these boots. But but uh, with a little bit of practice, you could probably get be a good judge of how, how far you could go. Okay, so I'm not, you know, I'm not using the timer on my phone the way I usually do because it's timing something else. Every, you know, often when I come back over here, I can hear the sound effect of my, of one of the ethereal bloom flowers um, coming up out of the ground the way it does when you first plant it, even though they're planted and are already up. I don't know if that's one little bug. It's just a sound, of course. That's not a big deal. Um, so I've got, I'm not using my phone timer. I'm using a timer on my desktop, which means it's kind of um, an annoying thing. There it is. That's loud. Oh, okay. I guess it's going to go off now. Cool. All right, um, so that means it's time to wrap up the episode. 
So I've got the meteor, I've got the travel, uh, boots of the meteor. Okay, so that's good. The next thing, there are quite a number of things I want to make, so. Um, I need to do in, I need to enchant those like I have the rest of my armor. I'll do that off camera. Um, but there is the, um, there is a thing where you can add uh, runic protection to your, here, um, you can add runic shielding to your, to your armor. So I'm going to do, that's the next episode is we'll do that. This is high. Uh, actually, it, how, how much instability it has depends on what level you're trying to get to. But anyway, so I'm going to do one of those in the next episode on camera, and then I will do the rest of it off camera because it's going to take a little while to do it. All right. Um, and then, but I also want to make, I also want to make, um, what is it in this one? Yes, I want to make, uh, I want to make I-Core, which requires nether shards and ender shards, which I have gotten. I've been gathering those. Also, nether stars, so I'll have to go, I'll have to kill a couple of nether, uh, nether bosses. What are, they, what are they called? Wither, wither bosses. The withers. I'll have to kill a couple of withers and give me a couple of nether stars. But anyway, you get eight I-Core for that. With that, you can make an I-Core strapped silver wood wand. I want to make that. I want to make that. That just takes one hour. It takes th two I core clocks. So I'll need to have two of these. That'll be fine. You get eight. So, oh, so I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to make, I'm going to have to get a couple of these. This takes six. Hmm. Oh, that take, makes, that makes three. Okay, so that'll be, I'll have enough. I'll have to have silver with raw, rod. That's not too bad. I'm going to sell this medicine a guest here. That's not too. Oh, it takes a lot of break and touch. Anyway, so I want to make an icor cloth, uh, an icor cloth strap to silver wood wand, and I suppose then maybe I should make a shadow beam. I don't know. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't know. I don't know how powerful that is. Then there's these robes. We're not going to make those, of course, because I already have the fortress armor. So we're going to use that. I could try making a weapon like this: the awakened icorian sword. That takes a lot of ingredients and it's dangerous. Yes. Every, uh, oh, and it has different modes. Attack normally, well, yeah, I don't know if, I'll, oh, so I'm getting, getting something. Mining fatigue? Oh, I'm reluctant to break things. That's why you get mining fatigue. Well, anyway, okay, so next episode, start uh, adding the runic shielding to my armor and the, and also start making the um, getting the stuff together to make the um, I core strapped silver wood wand, and then I think that is it. I'm not. I don't know if I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna go for making that sword. I will just use my the weapons I have already. I think I'll think about that, but I think that's what we'll do. The wand will be a weapon, of course. That's the reason for making it. Okay, so this has been Keith Modesto playing uh, Modern Minecraft. Thank you for watching. Let's do this one more time. Oops, I did that wrong. I hope you have a fantastic day.